I remember Rob had a question. Yeah, it was on go to any calculated field. On the ah, list. yeah. Remembered about it. Okay. So let's do it. So running calculation. Let me click yes. all page data studios, blank report, demo account, and we don't. Okay, so whenever we add a metric to a table, and it's for the tables, if you apply it to a scorecard, it doesn't matter, right? It can work for a table for a time series as well. So now we have the number of new users, okay? I can apply another instance of new users here. And this time, I can put it, first of all, comparison calculation. So we have two different types of calculations in Data Studio, comparison calculation and running calculation. The comparison calculation compares the number with the total or the maximum or minimum. So for example, the list of available options for us, which starts with percentage of total, let me apply this one, shows me this 19,529 is how much percentage of the absolute total. If I show the summary row and the total, I know that this is 31% of total. This is not easy to calculate it directly. So data is to analyze this comparison calculation for us. It can be difference from total, different percentage of the maximum, et cetera, et cetera. But the running calculation, right now, this is the same number. This is the same number. This is the same number. But what if I want to increase it cumulatively? What if I want to add 8,290? What if it was daily? That's because by page title, it doesn't make sense. But with date, it does make sense, actually. Especially if I sort by date ascending. Okay. So on April 21st, we had 2,000 new users. On April 22nd, we had 1,800 more. How much did we have in total? Four times. The next day, we have 1,300 more in total. So it's a running calculation against these numbers. It will sum them up if it's a running sum. It will show us the minimum, <clears throat> these all, as we go through, or maximum, or count, which will be one, two, three, four, five, six. Running average, I wanted moving average really, but running average on the whole data set. So the average of this would be this. The average of these two will be this. The average of these three would be this. And now the sorting methods. So if I do it descending, the actual numbers would be the same, but the running calculations would be different. Running delta, how much different is from the one before? Yeah. And the important thing to know that these are just being shown. So we cannot perform calculations on these. Just like percentage of total, it is calculating it, it's showing us, but the actual number is still this. So we cannot maybe add it to something or remove it from something or using it for any calculation. <clears throat> Got it. Thank you. Makes sense. A pleasure.